barbells, dumbbells, mobility bands, and body weight. In this video, we're gonna be going over the benefits and drawbacks of each training style and which one is best suited for your particular needs. Now, right away, I wanna say, this is not a video in which there's going to be a winner declared at the end because in my opinion, they're all absolutely excellent. This is going to be more of a discussion of how each one can help aid you to become the best buff dude or girl that you can possibly be. And before we begin the video, I wanna give a huge shout out to TLF. I'm wearing their clothing now, I love the way they feel, and you can grab some for yourself if you click our link in description. Use code TLF-BUFF for 15% off and tell them the buff dude sent you. All right, now on the pros and cons of each training style. The barbell. The barbell is going to be a staple at almost any gym, and there's good reason for that. Number one is it has a massive weight load potential. Of all the other training styles, the barbell is the one that you're gonna be able to climb up to weights upwards of 500 plus pounds, something that the others just simply aren't capable of doing. It's very rare that you see a pair of 200 plus pound dumbbells, and even so, if you did have them available, they can be a little awkward. Not so with the barbell. With the barbell, you can perform all major compounds with ease, and that puts it head and shoulders above the rest in regards to how much weight you're able to load up and push around. Another big advantage of barbells is it's going to be the most stable when performing bilateral exercises. And a bilateral exercise is when you're using both sides of your body. So for exercises such as squats, bent over rows, deadlifts, you're gonna have a lot more stability when performing those as opposed to the dumbbells where you're holding two objects, you can be a little bit unsteady. With a barbell, you're locked in tight and you're good to go. Another big benefit of the barbell is it can be loaded up in the smallest weight increments. And that can be really helpful when working on your size and strength. In exercises such as the bench press, you can move up just a tiny bit of weight each week, each month, and even though it starts small, you are making progress. And that goes a long ways, as opposed to maybe dumbbells, for instance. You know, typically you can only move up five to 10 pounds at a time. And when you can do the small weights, such as the two and a half pounds with the barbell, you can ease into it a little bit better. So you don't feel like you're taking a big leap, but you are taking a step and those small steps add up to something big. And that leads us right into a next big benefit of the barbell is that it's hands down the best for strength gain. You're able to load up the most weight. You're also able to load up the smallest increments of weight. So there's a lot of variability there. You can start very small, but the sky is the limit in regards to how much weight you can put on a barbell. And that's really going to assist you if your goal is the size and the strength, then the barbell wins hands down. Another very cool thing about the barbell is the plates can double as weights themselves. So if you don't have dumbbells available, you can also use them for a variety of different exercises such as around the world, steering wheels, and many others. So it's a little bit of a cool thing you can do right on the fly. If you don't have access to a dumbbell, you wanna do a superset or they just feel a little bit more comfortable for that particular exercise. Now let's talk about some of the cons of the barbell. Number one is it's gonna take up the most room. Whereas the other three are pretty mobile, you can bring them around wherever you'd like. With the barbell, that's gonna be a little harder. You can't exactly throw an Olympic bar into the trunk of your vehicle and take it to your hotel, your buddy's house, or what have you. You can if you want, if you wanna get a little creative, but most people are gonna find that a little bit of a struggle. And of course, if you wanna perform the big exercises, such as the squats and the deadlifts, you're gonna need a lot of plates as well. So usually, if you do have the barbell, it's gonna stay in one place, and if you have a place such as an apartment, it's probably not gonna be able to accommodate that. And unfortunately, your only option is either gonna be maybe your converted garage or a commercial gym. Another potential drawback of the barbell is there's not as much variety. It's a straight bar and there's only so much you can do with that as opposed to the dumbbells or mobility bands. You can make a lot of tiny tweaks on the fly based upon your particular needs or anatomy. Whereas with the barbell, it's a little bit more rigid and set in place. Dumbbells. 
Dumbbells has a lot of benefits and one of those being it is excellent for keying in on asymmetrical imbalances. Whereas with the barbell, you can do the same thing in particularly in regards to the lower body, but the dumbbell can't be beat because it can do upper body and lower body with ease. We get lots and lots of questions from people saying, one side of my body is weaker than the other, how do I fix that? And dumbbells is the perfect solution because you can easily key in on that side of the body that you feel weaker with ease and you're gonna have yourself fixed and good to go in no time. So dumbbells are invaluable for that alone and a big reason why I recommend at least owning one pair. Another huge benefit of the dumbbell is the excellent range of motion. As I mentioned before, one of the drawbacks of the barbell is it's a little bit more rigid and that's not so with the dumbbell. You can really twist, turn, manipulate, and tweak the dumbbells any which way you like. Either if you have a little bit of, let's say, shoulder impingement, you can make some slight adjustments to immediately correct that in regards to working out with dumbbells. And you can also really find interesting ranges of motion that helps maximize your muscle development. Dumbbells are also excellent for supersets, trisets, and circuits. You can easily jump from one exercise to the next and really maximize your training if you're going for an elevated heart rate or if you just wanna pair a few exercises back to back. Whereas with the dumbbells, let's say, it's a little bit harder. You've gotta unload, load the weights. That can take a little bit of time in order to do so, especially if you've got a busy gym or maybe if timing is just an issue and you just wanna hit one exercise right after the other and dumbbells are great for that. Another great thing about the dumbbell is spotting isn't required as it would be in exercises such as the bench press with the barbell. Whereas with the dumbbells, hey, it's getting too heavy, you can't perform it anymore, you just drop them to the side and you're good to go. You don't have to worry about being decapitated by a bar which is loaded to the brim with weight. Another thing dumbbells offer, which can either be a pro or a con, is instability. Now, the reason instability can be a pro is it really helps to strengthen joints and muscle groups. I myself used it in physical therapy when trying to rehab my ankle, and that was one of the biggest things that was always a focus was instability exercises. And dumbbells are the best at offering that option. Dumbbells are also great for smaller spaces such as apartments. There's been many times in my life where all I had available was one pair of dumbbells and that did not hinder my development because you're still able to perform hundreds of different exercises. In fact, we created a dumbbell only plan. You can find the link in our description. And the reason we did that is due to the fact that we know many of you out there, as I said, including myself in the past, it's really all we've had available. So they're an excellent tool if all you have is maybe uh, your room, an apartment, a small garage. Really all you need is that pair of dumbbells and you can still achieve your goals just fine. Now let's talk about some of the drawbacks of the dumbbell because there is a couple and one of those is it can be a lot more taxing just getting into position. And what I mean by that is if you're performing bench press or shoulder press with 100 pound dumbbells, Usually the most difficult part is just getting yourself ready to perform the exercise. And it can also be a little bit dangerous because it's that instability, which I mentioned earlier as a pro, which can also be a con in certain scenarios like that. So that's really where you begin to see why it's great to have a variety of options such as barbells and dumbbells because while some are excellent in certain facets, some lack a little bit in others. And for me personally, I find the taxing nature of setting up certain exercises to be one of those drawbacks with the dumbbells. Another drawback I find with the dumbbells is it's really hard to find weight over 100 pounds. So if you're looking to perform exercises such as Romanian deadlifts, shrugs, or bench press, you're not really going to be able to maximize those exercises if you're only using, let's say, a 50 pound pair of dumbbells. Another drawback of the dumbbells is they're gonna be the most expensive option out of the four. So even if you can find that 100 pound plus pair of dumbbells, it's gonna cost you a lot of money. And if you wanna, let's say, get a 10 pound pair of dumbbells and slowly work your way all the way up to 100, that's gonna be about uh, a year salary right there. So it's something to keep in mind and a big benefit of the barbell is you can get weight, they're not cheap, 
by any means, but they're a much cheaper option than getting all the dumbbells required. Now we're gonna be moving on to what we could arguably call the dark horse of the four workout options, and that's gonna be mobility bands. And a lot of people look at mobility bands and they view them either as like maybe a warm-up tool or something you could use in rehab, but they are also very excellent in gaining strength and size. They offered some things not present in barbells or dumbbells. And one of those things is that unlike barbells or dumbbells, they can work in the horizontal plane. With barbells and dumbbells, you're very much hindered by gravity, whereas with mobility bands, that's not quite the case. And that can be really excellent to mimic a cable machine, for instance, and that unlocks a lot of new exercise options. Another great thing I love about mobility bands, they're very easy to transport. You can just throw them in a travel bag, so even if you're flying, you're staying at hotels, you're still gonna get a great workout in, which I've done many times in the past. I wanna do a quick shout out for our own mobility bands, which you can find in our Buff Dudes store, www.buffdudes.us, link in description, that's a big reason why we came out with these things, because we wanted to be able to work out wherever we went, and these are able to accommodate that, which I absolutely love. Something I also really enjoy about mobility bands is they're a great aid in exercises such as pull-ups and dips, which can be very difficult on their own, but when you utilize mobility bands, you can almost use them as training wheels. So you get to know the motion and the fluidity of the exercise in addition to taking some of that weight off as well. And then as you begin to get better at the exercise, you can use lighter bands until you don't need the bands at all. And that's a great feeling to finally be able to perform such amazing exercises such as those. And mobility bands really help to make that progress much easier. They also work really great for helping with certain barbell and dumbbell exercises to give you that little bit of variety that you need in order to push yourself to the next level. I know with dumbbell swings is one of my favorites, but when I started adding bands to it as well, it just increased its difficulty that much more in addition to providing just that little bit of extra resistance I needed to bring the exercise to the next level. And they're also really great for barbell exercises such as the bench press and deadlifts. Another great thing I love about mobility bands is you can't cheat using momentum. When performing a classic exercise such as curls with either the barbell or the dumbbell, you can use a lot of your own body to make it much easier or cheat. Whereas with the mobility bands, that's simply not possible. So it can be a great way to learn the proper form of the exercise and instill those into yourself so that when you do move on to the dumbbells and the barbells, you're not gonna have as much of a tendency to engage your hips into the exercise. So there's quite a few benefits of the mobility bands, but let's talk about a few of the cons. And one of those can be that the mobility bands cannot work completely on their own in all exercises because certain ones you're just gonna need something to tie them onto, either that be a door anchor or a power rack, and that hinders your performance a little bit. So you can buy the additional tool, thankfully it's very cheap, but you will need it. And that can be a little bit of a setback if it's something you weren't expecting. Mobility bands are also gonna lose out when it comes to being the best option for performing major compound exercises such as bench press, bent over rows, and deadlifts. When it comes to those ones, you just can't beat barbells, and even as a secondary option, dumbbells are gonna be another excellent replacement. We're on to our, our final form of training, and much like mobility bands, body weight has a few stigmas attached, but let's get the biggest pro out of the way first. It's free. Unlike all the other options, which can be a little expensive, especially barbells and dumbbells, with body weight, you don't have to pay anything. It's just, it's just you and your body, baby. And another pro to that, or it could be a con for some of you, is there's no excuses. I mean, you gotta get down on the ground, you perform some push-ups, or maybe some body weight squats. There's nothing save for some injuries or disabilities that prevents you from doing so. You just gotta do it. Then it's just a mental thing. So not only is it free, you can literally perform body weight anywhere. It doesn't matter if it's in your house, in the park, on a rooftop, you name it, you can perform it there. And I know, cause I've done it. I've tried to perform body weight anywhere I can and you can do it at a hell of a lot of places. And that brings us right to the next pro. Performing it in different places can really aid in the satisfaction you get from working out. I know for myself, 
working out in the gym for many, many years. There's a lot of stereotypes that go with that. We've made a lot of videos on those stereotypes over the years, and it can get a little discouraging because you're in this big sweaty box. Sometimes they don't even have windows. The air is a little thick with some pungent smells of those who maybe haven't bathed um, as much as they should have. But with body weight, you can go outside in the outdoors you see deers, you see bunnies hopping around, all of a sudden you hear a Disney soundtrack in the back of your mind. Maybe that's not gonna be true in every case, but it feels really damn good. It can really elevate you both physically and mentally. So that's one other really big thing I like about body weight is the fact that you can do it anywhere and in some of those places you get a real appreciation for where you are and satisfaction as well. Another big benefit of body weight is it helps with coordination, balance, and flexibility. And those can be really instrumental, not only in the gym or assisting with other exercises, but just with life in general. Just walking, for instance. And I hate to say it, but how many people do you really look at and their gait isn't nearly as strong as it should be, and that can really hinder you later down the line. And those things alone are a huge pro in making sure you implement body weight into your training routine. Now this next one might seem a little silly, but it's definitely true, and body weight is great for party tricks and bonding. There's been so many times where there's just been an impromptu push-up competition. Of course, it probably started when we were little kids with our dad. It was a great way to learn how your body worked, to get physical, to get a great workout, and to just have a good time in general. And especially when you begin to train some of the more technical body weight exercises, it can look very impressive. And again, due to the fact that you can perform them anywhere, yes, a big deadlift is very impressive, but you can't really lug around 500 pounds of weights with you wherever you go. So when you learn some of the cooler body weight movements, you can not only impress people, you can maybe make a new friend and you can get that social satisfaction you need. Body weight is also really great for warming up and mobility. So even if the tools that you use most are barbells and dumbbells, implementing body weight pre and post workout can still be a really great thing to help aid you in the longevity of your workout career. It is also really great for learning big, sometimes scary exercises such as squats or pull-ups because if you can learn the body weight versions first, you don't have the fear of maybe dropping some weights or the instability. You can learn all the major components of the exercise and then when you're ready to upgrade by using maybe dumbbells, or barbells, you have that confidence already instilled within yourself. Now it's time to talk about some of the cons of body weight. And unfortunately, there is a few, with the most major one probably being that the resistance that you're going to be using is just your body. So unlike dumbbells or barbells, where you can continue to increase the weight over time, building size, building strength, you're not gonna be able to do that with body weight. You're still gonna be able to get into excellent shape, but there is going to be a point of diminishing returns much faster than there would be using traditional weights. Another drawback of body weight is you're not gonna be able to isolate certain muscle groups as well as you would be able to using dumbbells, barbells, or mobility bands. A lot of body weight is common compound base, which is excellent, but if you're really trying to key in on, let's say, your posterior deltoids or your bicep, it's gonna be a little harder to do that with body weight than it would be with the other three. And that goes right into the next con where you may be wondering, well, you know, you can, you can do bicep uh, exercises with body weights with exercises such as chin-ups, and that is correct, but a new problem presents itself, and that's the fact that when you're using a chin-up bar, yes, it is body weight, but you do need a tool, and that could be a little bit of a drawback because not everyone has a chin-up bar laying around, and you can use quirky alternatives to a chin-up bar such as using a, a t-shirt curl Again, that's another tool you're gonna need. So sadly, not all body weight can per be performed just with the ground and your body. You're gonna need a few other things, such as a bar to perform exercises, such as pull-ups and inverted rows, dips, and other exercises. So there you go, some of the pros and cons of barbells, dumbbells, mobility bands, and body weight. And they can be a little bit like dieting because you have certain people that feel that one diet is head and shoulders above the rest and that can be the same with training styles. Barbell is the best, body weight is the best, but at the end of the day, it really all boils down to what works best for you. And for me, personally, implementing all four styles works the best because you have an 
endless amount of options available to you. Now, let me give you an example. If you use all four, you would have the massive weight potential of barbells. You could work on asymmetrical issues with dumbbells. You could use mobility bands to aid in difficult exercises such as pull-ups and dips. And you could warm up with body weight in addition to learning big exercises such as squats. And the cool thing is that's just one variation. Let me give you another one really quick. You could use the mobility bands for warming up. You could use barbells to build massive size on smaller muscle groups such as biceps. You could use dumbbells to aid in physical therapy. And you could use body weight to help you learn skillful, dynamic exercises to help with your flexibility and self-esteem and also to impress others. And those are just two variations off the top of my head. Of course, there's hundreds more and you can really use all of them together to make you whoever it is you wanna be. Whether you want to be better at a certain sport, you want a certain body type, or you're just looking for general health. If you use all of them together, you're really gonna to help to accomplish that that much faster. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun putting this one together. Very insightful for me as well. And I will see you next time. And until then, as we like to say, save off.